Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you are having a wonderful day. On this video, I wanna give you some ideas for ways that you and your family can celebrate the whole idea of being thankful during the month of November, or I mean really any time all year, but especially in November. So, um, this whole idea came up, I just wanna tell you how I got this idea, at my Bible study that I was at this morning, and we had a little fellowship time where we could just chat, not doing the lesson at the very end, and the question that our leader asked us to think about was different ways, different traditions and things that, they, that we have for Thanksgiving, or for the month of November. So we started all of us talking about Thanksgiving traditions, and then it sort of got on to the topic of being thankful. So I have some super easy things to share with you. All right, this right here is a roll of brown craft paper. I can't remember if I got this one at Walmart or at Dollar Tree. Either way, does not matter. Um, this could be used, here's, the, here's one idea, I have three. Um, you could lay it flat and you can either iron it to get it to go flat or just roll it the opposite direction. Put it on your kitchen table where your kids eat breakfast or lunch or dinner and have them every day write something that they're thankful for on the table runner. You can make it as big or small as you want and all month long and then get it out and reminisce, reminisce with them on Thanksgiving about that idea. So that's one idea is to make this table runner where the kids write on it every day. Okay, the next idea is, is my crafty side kind of kicking in. And um, so I thought, why not make a thankful banner? This is the same brown craft paper that I just cut in the shape of a little banner. And my thought was to give each child or grandchild or great-grandchild, you know, or child of a niece or whoever, who, whatever children are in your life, or adults, really, um, give them a piece of paper like this, um, you know, a couple days before Thanksgiving or whenever it's convenient, and ask them to write what they're thankful for. And then... You can hang this as a little banner. On just a piece of twine. And um, I'm gonna take this one back down because I wanna show you something. And every year you could do something similar but different and then just kind of mix them up and layer them. And I think it would be so, my kids are grown. Uh, one is married and one is 20. <laughs> so they're not going to be super keen on this idea. But if you have little ones or little grandkids, it would be so neat to have this every year. To have a piece of paper. They don't have to all look the same um, every year. So that's why I put 2021 in the corner. And for your really little ones, you can ask them to draw a picture of what they're thankful for. What do you think? Do you like this idea? Of course you can you know, deck it up with uh, doodads as much as you want, whatever you would like. These were just some little decorative bows that I picked up at Walmart. I mean, whatever, um, whatever you like. So create a thankful banner and then every year bring it out on November 1st and redo this tradition. I think that's a great idea. Okay, then the next one I want to tell you about is um, is for us, for the grown-ups. But you, you could do this with teens as well. Um, I think it would be wonderful to create a thankfulness journal um, where you write, you know, what you're thankful for every day during the month of November. Okay, we've already missed three days because I'm recording this video right now on November 3rd, 2021. But, um, so you could do one of my 
decoupage kind of journals, um, this idea. Or if you don't feel like fussing with something, uh, I just wanna show you the journals that uh, Dollar Tree has, they're amazing. Okay, this one says, let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. And then on each page, it has a little thought, the same thing. It says, let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. This is a nice little book that um, you could record the things that you're thankful for. And here's, here's one thing, it doesn't have to be in descending order because if, if you're putting that pressure on yourself, uh, it's going to be hard for you to do. So mix and match it up. We were laughing in my Bible study, and I was saying, well, I already know what I'm going to put on mine as day one, community Bible study. So it could be, you know, big or small, uh, that kind of thing. So that was one of the journals. Here's another one of the journals that I found. One dollar. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without the fear of without fear of the future, Proverbs 31, verse 27, verse 25. Um, okay, and then they also had, in my store has the, the $3 and $5 section as well, and they had some super cute journals there. Uh, this one was $3. And then this one I think was $1, but it's two journals. I love write. I love paper. I love writing things down. So it has a small one. You could do this as your thankful journal. And then you could do this for, I like to write down my grocery list, things I have to do for the day, that kind of thing. So um, one other thing I wanted to point out this month, that it's great to focus on what we're thankful for during the month of November. But I think it's even greater to remember who we are thankful to. So that's something to think about. And uh, yeah, so this was a very, very quick little video. Uh, I was going to show you how to make these and these today. But uh, I had this thankful idea and I wanted to share that. So I'll do these other things tomorrow. And um, I'm seeing lots of you guys saying that you like to write things out too. So anyways, um, happy November to you. Hope that these are some ideas that you can use, especially if you have little ones at home. Oh my word. Or if you have a daughter or a son who has little ones at home, can you imagine having a collection of little banner pieces? And the reason why I put them on with these clothespins is so you can take them off and put them away and then bring them out year after year. Keep blaring them on the same banner. But wouldn't it be wonderful to have 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, for each little one in the house that start out maybe with uh, drawings of the dog and then the, the next year it's um, the word mom and dad in you know very rudimentary writing and just to see the evolution and I think it would be really fun for your children or grandchildren as well. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, feel free to ask questions if you have any in the comments. Feel free to uh, sprinkle if you have people in your life with little ones or big ones or anyone that wants to just think about and celebrate the idea of being thankful during the month of November. Bye everyone.